So you might want to convert a GIF to an MP4, and I've got a couple of GIFs right here. I've got this one that was actually converted from a live photo that I've got on my iPhone and iPad, and I'm working here on an iPad. And I've also got this one here as well. And I can tell they're GIFs because if I tap on the little eye for information down here, you can see on the right-hand side there, around about halfway down that panel, info panel, it says GIF right there. And I can convert these to an MP4. Now, just bear in mind, it doesn't improve the quality. GIFs are often not necessarily great quality, so don't expect it to improve it. So how am I going to do this? I'm going to do it with Adobe Express. And Adobe Express is free, although you do have to sign up for it. If you're already an Adobe user, then you can get it without having to sign up again. So have a look at it. So you can just download it as an app, or you can do it on the website. I'm going to do it here on my iPad. So I'm going to now open up Adobe Express. OK, so I'm here in Adobe Express. One of the great things about Adobe Express is it does save your files into the cloud, which is kind of handy. So I'm going to create a blank template, and then I'm going to add in the picture, the GIF, and then I'm going to download it as an MP4. So to do that, top left-hand corner, you'll see I've got the plus sign. Tap on that. And I've got these options here straight away. I know I'm going to do the live photo of me with the camera, which was in portrait. So I'm going to go for this one here, which is 9 by 16. And you can see it's got portrait there. If I tap on that, it's going to give me this blank page. Then what I need to do is on the left-hand side, you can see it's got upload. And I'm just going to tap on that. I'm going to go to my photo library. I'm here in my GIFs. You can see I've got that GIF there. It's in the top left-hand corner is the robot dog. That was the landscape one. And here's the one of me that I want on the just to the right of that. Just tap on that. Tap on Add. There it is. And it's got these handles on the corner, these little circles. I'm just going to drag that up. Let's move that up. I'm going to fill the screen here, this little page. So let's drag that down. You can see, you can see it there. There we go. So that's about right. So it's maybe not quite right. Let's just put it about there so you can see it's snapping into position. Now, although it's a GIF, I can actually edit it as well. So I could shorten it. So let's take it from where I just about lift the camera here. So let me just move the playhead along. So let's take it from there. I don't have to trim it, but let's move it to there. And then I can tap on the play button, you can see on the timeline, and it will play. OK, that's it. Now, what I want to do now is go to download. And you're probably wondering, actually, I chose 16 by 9. That's a very common format for video. And the live photo is in 4 by 3 or 3 by 4, not in 16 by 9, which is why it's not filling that whole thing. So let's go to download. I just go to download now. Guess what? File format defaults to MP4. It's doing it. The video resolution is 1080p. Let's just look at that. You can lower it to 720p, or you could have it as 4K over there. So that's uh, making it 4K won't improve the, the quality of it. If I go to the file format, you can see it's just ping, JPEG, and PDF options, but it's MP4 that we want here, so let's just keep that. Then you tap on Download. It's going to prepare it, and then it's going to export it out, and it's going to end up in your camera roll. There you go, Save to Camera Roll. So let's just go back. OK, so let's just do one more. Let's take that robot dog, which was in Landscape. Tap on that. So let's go to Upload. Let's go to Photo Library. I'm in my GIFs. Let's tap on the robot dog. Tap on the Add. Now this one is 16 by 9. It's just loading it up here. There you go. And if I do that and move it into position, it's going to fill it. 
just right. Let's just move that around. It should snap into position. Whoops, there we go. If I can just drag that corner there. There we go. So it's filled it. Again, at the bottom here, I could trim it if I wanted to. I don't see any need to. It's quite a short clip. Maybe, maybe, maybe let's just go back to here. So there we go before it starts running back. And again, I just need to tap on download. And again, same options, file format, video resolution, 1080p, and just to choose download. And it's going to prepare that for me. So there you go. This is free software that you can use. It's available on your iPad. It's available on your iPhone. It's probably available on Android devices. And you can do this on the website on your computer as well. So fantastic stuff. So you know I mentioned about that file, the first one I did, and it, it wasn't the same aspect ratio. Well, you're probably asking what could you have done about that? Well, you could do the right sizing here. So if I tap on the custom size here, I happen to know, because I looked at it before, that the width is 375 by 500. And if I do create new file, and now if I go and get that picture, which is just here, and add it. It actually fills it perfectly. You can see it's done it exactly right here. So it's filled it as you want it. By the way, if I want my timeline down at the bottom again, I just tap on Edit Timeline. So there you go. That is how you can convert a GIF to an MP4. I do have another video that I've got, which is the one I've recorded just before this one, which is to convert a live photo or MP4 video on your iPhone or iPad to a GIF. So you can go and check that one out as well. If you do like this, please do like, share and subscribe and come back for more.